Good afternoon, everyone. You're here because you want to know how to create a blog article in HubSpot. So what you see right now is the HubSpot dashboard. What this implies is that you have already logged into HubSpot, and if you have the dashboard set as your first page to open up, this is where you'll land. So you want to create a blog article. Where do you go next? You want to navigate up here to the top left side of the uh, web screen to the content section. Click on the content drop down, scroll down to the blog, blog section, and select blog. Once you have selected blog, you'll be on the blog interface. This shows you all of the blogs that you currently have active, as well as gives you a little um, sort of rubric to see what you have uh, currently and know where they stand. So if you see the gray round thing, you know that the, the blog article is in draft. If you see the yellow, it has been scheduled to go out at a later date. If you see the green dot, it has been published and is live on the site. And if you see a circle with no, with no gray middle, this means that that article has been archived and is no longer active or being used um, in the interface. And so if you want to create a new article, you have two options. You can cl click the green button that says new composition or the blue button that says new blog post. New composition allows you to open up the blog editor in a very minimalistic form, copy over blog content that you already have written, paste it into the composition tool, and it will remove any of the extemporaneous uh, formatting or uh, coding that doesn't need to be in the blog when it goes live. The new blog post section removes this first step and takes you directly to the blog post itself where you can put in the title, put in the blog content, and then begin to format the blog for it to go live. During this video, we're going to walk through both tools. First, the new composition tool, and then the new blog post tool. So, first, the new composition tool. So we'll click the green button, and as I said, it's a very minimalistic tool. We have a place for a title, we have a place for some content. We already have our blog pre-written, and so we're going to scroll back up here, pull over our title, and put it into the title section. So, we're taking our title, we're copying it, we're pasting it, and now we have a title. And then we'll come back and we'll copy and paste all of our content. We're going to highlight all of it, scroll down, and copy and paste it as well. What you'll see here is that all of the, the blog content is formatted as we had it in the Google Doc. It even has the links. Um, this part of the, the tool, the composition tool, allows you to go through and make sure everything that you've copied over has done so correctly. Um, if you caught that right there, we have one um, line, it seems, that, that is missing its link. And so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it. We're going to select the link. We're going to type in the title of the, of the article that we're linked to and link the article. So this allows you to set up uh, your bullet list, your numbered list, your H2s, your H3s, bold italics, um, or links or quotes here in the composition tool before you move it over into the blog tool. And so we've got um, this one link fixed. We're ready to move it to the blog tool. So we'll click Move to Blog. And this is where we format, optimize, and review. Um, we, um, we already have a blog that exists with this title. And so this is HubSpot prompting us to create a new title. So we're going to call this the Top 10 Blog Articles of 2017 because we are in a new year. And so now that we've given it a new title, we can move it over into the blog tool. So here we can see the titles moved over, all of the contents moved over, and it's formatted appropriately. So things that you'll want to do once you have the content here are add things like images and CTAs. You want to make sure that you insert an image both for SEO and for social media purposes. Social media purposes so that the image is showing up uh, with the link whenever you, um, whenever you are sharing it on social media. And SEO purposes because um, images have historically provided a small bump in SEO uh, for any web page or blog article that's created. And so what we did here was we opened up the editor. We clicked on the insert or edit image button and we found an image in our file manager and inserted it. Things that you'll want to do once you get it in is make sure that it's formatted appropriately. You can see that right now 
it's kind of popping up above the text. And so we want to make sure that it's um, aligned appropriately. Um, and it looks like uh, it didn't want to align appropriately the first time. But if we left align it, we can see that, that it's here. Part of this issue is the more tag. Uh, traditionally, unless we need the image to be above the more tag so that it will show up in some sort of blog list view, we try to put the image below the more tag so that it doesn't mess up the formatting with the uh, paragraph here. And so we have an image in it entered. The other thing that you want to always try to have in a blog article or at the end of a blog article is a CTA or a call to action. This gives the reader something to do once they've finished reading the blog article. Since this is about our top 10 blog articles, we want to do something related to blogging. We have an awesome CTA called Introduction to Business Blogging that we're going to put here at the bottom. So we see now that we have an image, we have a blog, we have everything formatted correctly. So now we're ready to move on to the next step of the publishing process. This is the settings. This is all of the information that uh, we need in the blog article's back end before it can go live. Things like the title that goes at the top of the page or in the search results if someone's searching for uh, topics related to your blog article on Google, the URL, um, the author, topics, and meta description. So we have our title here. Our title, whenever we put it in, uh, propagates as the URL. So if you want that to be something different, you can make it different now. Um, and you want to make sure that whenever you're writing uh, blog articles that are related to your industry, that you're including your keywords in those uh, titles, URLs, uh, topics, and meta descriptions. Uh, since this is specifically about our top 10 articles, we're just going to put it in the news topic. That way people know that this is news related to what's happening in our company. The meta description is very key because this is what shows up in search results below the title that helps entice a reader to come to your site and read the read the article. And so it's key. It's so key that HubSpot actually won't let you publish an article without a meta description. And so you want to make sure that you put in something that's going to entice uh, the readers to um, or the searchers to come to your site and read the article. So um, top 10 articles. Uh, from 2017. Read more to see how we are advancing our blog strategy in the upcoming year. So there we go. We've got a little bit of information about what the article is and a little bit of teaser about what um, about the outcomes of the article. And so now that we have everything in here, we have the author. Um, the author decided I wrote the article. Obviously, if you have any other authors that already exist, they'll be in here. Or if you need to add a new one, you can add a new one. Um, you have your title, your URL, your topics, and your meta description added in. You have your image in, so you have a feature image selected. And you're ready to move on to the last step, which is publisher schedule. So you can publish now, which means it's going to go straight out uh, both on your website and to any instant subscribers immediately, or you can schedule for later. At ClearPivot, we like to schedule our articles for Monday mornings at 8 a.m. Monday mornings at 8 a.m. specifically because this is when people are coming back into their office and checking their email for the first time after the weekend. And so if we put it at 8 a.m. and they're getting into the office at 8 a.m., this means this article is going to be one of the top ones on their list if they're an instant subscriber. We do 8 a.m. because that's uh, mountain time for us, and which means it will be uh, 7 a.m. for anyone on the West Coast and then um, 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. across the U.S. And what this means is, is that at some point there on Monday morning, uh, someone's going to see this article because they're, they're checking their email. And so at this point, we have it all set up. We have the date selected. We have the time selected. So we're going to hit schedule. And this is a second confirmation asking us if we're ready to schedule. Tells us that it's going to be Monday, March 20th at 8 a.m. We say, yeah, that's good. We want to schedule this post now. And so that is how you schedule a post through the new composition tool. Um, the, other, um, the other side of blog scheduling comes through the new blog post tool. So when you click this blue button, you're going to get two options, a post blueprint or a blank post. A blank post is using the uh, blog template that you have set up 
for across your website. A post blueprint is for if you were um, using maybe multiple templates on the same blog. We use the same template uh, here at ClearPivot, and so we traditionally just go with the blank post. And so you've clicked the blue button, you're ready to create a new blog article, you're going to click blank post. And so when you click blank post, this takes you to uh, that second screen we saw after the composition screen. It has a place for us to put our title, has a place for us to put our content. So we're going to put in uh, clear pivots, uh, top 10 articles of 2017, uh, two since we already have uh, one of these created, and we're going to put our content in. So we're going to come over here, we're going to hit copy and paste again. And we're going to see something uh, strange happen. It's not formatted correctly. And this is why uh, HubSpot and even us at ClearPivot are big advocates of using the composition tool. Because uh, when you put it in the composition tool, it's going to do its best to format it in the way that you want it. So you can see here that we have a lot of extra spaces. Uh, the, um, the link did come through that we didn't have the last time, but we have other issues like, um, for some reason it switched from a bullet list to a numerical list. So all of these things are things that will need to be fixed before the article can go live. And this is why, like I said, we use the composition tool, uh, instead of the new blog article tool. Really the new blog article tool you'll only want to use if you're writing a blog article from scratch. And so... We're going to come in here and do the same thing we did the last time we made it to this screen, which is add in our CTAs. So we're going to come over here, click call to action, uh, type in a uh, blog because we know that we're doing using a call to action related to blogging. We're going to insert that and then we're going to also scroll back up here and add an image in. And this time we'll add an image in a little bit further down so that we can see how it renders uh, appropriately within the context of the blog. So we want to click insert, insert image. We'll go to our images folder. Um, each, uh, each HubSpot user is going to have their, um, their files set differently. So this will be whatever equivalent is for you. And you can also um, upload a file or um, use a file from Dropbox or Google Drive as well. Um, so you have plenty of different options for getting an image, um, but we're just going to use the same image we've been using uh, and put that in. And like we said, you can make the image small, you can make the image large, you can make the image medium. Uh, you can even go into the source code and edit the image size if you need to uh, the, for the more advanced users. Um, and you can align the image right, uh, center, or uh, left. And I did the left and right backwards. Um, that was just thought process. Obviously this image is a little too big, so we want to make it smaller and you can also uh, change the uh, spacing. So we, I think this is a little too tight. So we want to change this spacing to 20. And now that we have that changed, we're good to move on to the settings. The settings are going to be kind of the same thing, right? So we have the title here. Uh, we see that we have the title has propagated as URL. I'm still the author. Um, and because I'm the one creating the article, that's why it defaults to me as the author. Obviously, if you're importing this for another author, you'll have to go in and pick the other author. Um, and so we've got all of our topics here. We want to scroll through and select our news topic. And um, we want to add in a meta description. And so we're going to put a second uh, look at our top 10 articles. Uh, let's see. Uh, what we think the best strategies are for blogging in 2017. So now we have a good meta description. We have our image selected. We're ready to publish. And so um, we want to schedule for later. Uh, you can actually, even though it just says schedule for later, if for some reason you wanted to backdate an article, uh, say you didn't get an article out in time or you want to send it or put an article on your site without sending out instant notifications. Um, you can backdate an article and it'll go live on your site as soon as you um, as soon as you hit post. And so like you can see here, it says right here, this blog post will be backdated, email notifications and automatic social updates will not be sent out. 
And so you can backdate the post, um, hit schedule, even though you're not technically scheduling it, and it'll actually be live on your site um, immediately. And so um, those are really the, the two ways that you can go through and create a blog article in HubSpot. You can see that this one that we set up first is scheduled and this one that we set up second is live. Um, but we want to go ahead and uh, unpublish both of those and archive them. So first we'll click unpublish. That way it's not live. Um, that way it's not scheduled. So we've got both of them unpublished and then we can either archive or delete them. Uh, we don't have a use for them anymore, so we're just gonna go ahead and clean up our blog and delete these posts. And so now you've seen how you can upload a blog article in HubSpot. Thank you for watching.